Hey everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial learning C Sharp using Windows Forms. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the basics of C Sharp. On the next pages I give you some more info regarding What are variables? Declaring and initializing variables. Using variables in Windows Forms. What are variables? Variables are a fundamental concept in programming languages like C Sharp. A variable is simply a name given to a memory location that stores a value. In other words, a variable is a container that holds data. By using different variable types, you can store different kinds of data in your program and perform different operations on them. For example, you might use integer variables to store numeric values, string variables to store text, and Boolean variables to store logical values. Here is a description of the stored values for each variable type in C Sharp. For the beginning it's okay to know the three most used once is like, bool, int and string. Bool, a bool variable can store a boolean value, which is either true or false. Int, an int variable can store a signed 32-bit integer value between minus 2,147,483,648 and 2,147,483,647. String, a string variable can store a sequence of Unicode characters, such as hello world. In C Sharp, variables must be declared before they can be used. The syntax for declaring a variable is first data type and then the variable name. Data type refers to the type of data that the variable can hold, such as int for integers, string for text strings, bool for boolean values, etc. Variable name is the name you give to the variable, which must follow certain naming conventions, such as starting with a letter or underscore and not containing spaces. Declaring and initializing variables. Once a variable is declared, you can assign it a value using the assignment operator, equals. Here, we declare an integer variable x and assign it the value 5. Alternatively, you can declare and initialize a variable in a single line of code, like this. This is a more concise way of declaring and initializing a variable, which can be helpful for keeping your code readable and easy to understand. It's important to note that C-sharp is a strongly typed language, which means that you must declare the data type of a variable before you can use it. This helps to prevent errors and ensures that your code is more robust and reliable. Using variables in Windows Forms Now that we know how to declare and initialize variables in C-sharp, let's see how we can use them in Windows Forms. One common use case for variables in Windows Forms is to store and manipulate user input. For example, let's say we have a text box control in our form that allows the user to enter their age. We can use a variable to store the value of this text box as follows. Here, we are declaring an integer variable called age and initializing it with the value of the text age text box control after converting it to an integer using the parse method. We can then use this variable to perform calculations or display the value in other controls on the form. Now let's start with the video. Learn C Sharp using Windows Forms, Variables. We will cover the following points. Create a short game with the variable types int, bool and string in a Windows form c -sharp program. The game generates a random number between 1 and 100, and the player has to guess the number. The game gives the player hints after each guess, telling them if their guess is too high, too low, or if they guess the correct number. The player has 10 chances to guess the number correctly. And now enjoy the practical part of this video.
Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment with ideas, wishes, or improvements for further content. If you like my videos, I would be happy about a like for the video. If you want to support me further and not miss any videos, just subscribe to my channel.